this occurred, I don't know the year, but it was like a, a single digit something or other. And it was one of the first Boar's Head events that Care Enters held. It was held at St. James Episcopal Church, which uh, had this huge vaulted uh, uh, hall that we could hold feasts in. We could even hold fighting in if we put down mats on the floor, which is what they did. And uh, they were holding a, a type of tournament where everybody lined up and the first two in line would fight each other and whoever won would stay there until the next one. And they just keep, keep doing this and keep rotating around. Well, early on, two of the fighters who walked out onto the field, one of them was our Seneschal and for a while our only fighter, his name was Mikhail. Uh, our second fighter was his wife, Jean, who he made armor for and she had great fun hitting him with sticks until she got like six months pregnant and couldn't fit in the armor anymore, which she said was a bummer. Anyway, uh, Mikhail's favorite style was to fight with Glaive, which is a polearm. And facing off with him was another man who loved to fight with Glaive. His name was Shuka the Guardian. Some of you may remember him. Yeah, there are stories. Most of them are true. <laughs> yeah, most of them are true. And so the two of them walk out onto the field. And at the time, our Knights Marshal was a man who was, uh, he made my, well, bah, he went by the name of Ian Dushabig McGraber. Why do I remember this when I, anyway. Um, he was very formal in, in his procedures possibly because in his off time, he was also the chief fencing instructor at the Milwaukee Fencing Academy. So he would bring the fighters out onto the field and say, all right, uh, pay homage to the crown, pay homage to your lady, bury you any offensive steel, all right, you're fine, lay on. Well, Mikhail and Chukas walked out on the field with their glaives, went through the whole thing, turned to each other, went whackety-whack, and killed each other simultaneously. <laughs> Apparently this happens a lot with pole arms. I'm, I'm not sure why. Anyway, um, all right, you two, end of the line, we'll redo Take the this. bout. Now, Shuka, uh, which I believe is an old uh, North Viking name, which means very silly man, went back to his armor bag where he had among other things, a dummy hand grenade, <laughs> which he tucked inside of his breastplate, waited until he and Mikhail walked out onto the field. And uh, Ian says, bear you any offensive steel? And Mikhail shakes her head and Shuka looks puzzled for a moment, reaches into his armor, pulls out the hand grenade, hands it to the marshal. And Ian looks at it and goes, I see, anything else? Yeah, you're yeah, sure. All right. All right, you two, lay on. Whackety whack. They're both dead again. <laughs> Back of the line. So, needless to say, eventually the two of them come around third time, and Ian walks out on the field, looks at them, goes, Bury you any offensive? Wait a minute. Looks over at Shook Up, says, I remember you. All right, you, put your weapons down, up against the wall, spread your legs. <laughs> he did this probably knowing that among other things, Shuka used to be an ex-cop in Chicago. So he proceeds to start patting him down, satisfies himself, and then Shuka points over at Mikhail and goes, what about him? And Ian goes, you're right, you, up, up against the wall, spread your legs. <laughs> proceeds to do the pat down. Now the two of them walk out on the field. Mikhail and Shuka look at each other and virtually without a word, they walk over, they grab the marshal, put him up against the wall <laughs> and proceed to pat him down. At this point, sitting at the head table across the hall was our newly uh, crowned Baron, who was Baron Dougal and the king of the mid-realm, who at the time, as I recall, was Laurelin. 
That takes you back a ways, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And apparently alerted by all of the giggling going on amongst the fighters standing in line, um, Laurelin looks up and see these two rather large burly men in armor holding the marshal up against the wall <laughs> and patting him down. And Laurelin turns to Baron Dougal and says, um, Your Grace, I am a, a visitor to your kingdom here, and as such, I am not necessarily familiar with all of your local customs. <laughs> Could you possibly tell me what are they doing? <laughs> and Dougal, with a perfectly straight face, says, Well, they are checking for hand grenades, Your Majesty. <laughs> and Laurelin looks puzzled for a moment and looks back at Dougal and says, Um, perhaps it is better if you assume I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Now, I don't remember who actually won that bout. But that was, and still is to this day, the now infamous Karen Turth hand grenade story. <laughs> <laughs>